My goodness, man. I think when it comes to awakening, the mutant class is by far the hardest class to like make this list for because I feel like most of them just do not need it whatsoever. Like they just do not need awakening. And the ones that do, it is very easy to tell when they do need it, right? But yeah, this was a very hard list to make. It was a struggle for sure, but I think this is the hardest one. So at least it is just out of the way already, right? But yeah, we have the same categories as last time. We have the generic worthy characters. We have the class worthy characters. We have the class worthy again, but not as like worthy as the ones listed before. We have the defensive abilities too. We also have the fun investments. We have the amazing champions, but okay abilities like signature wise. And then we have the just do not bother tier. So same stuff as last time. So let's just get started. And before I get started here, just a little bit of a key. So the arrow up means that high sig is wanted slash needed. And additionally, the little like armor icon is if this champion is awakened, they get a pretty big defensive upgrade as well. Now, first, the generic worthy characters. And first up here is Kitty Pride. Kitty Pride has just been one of the best champions in the game flat out. She is just so, so good. And what makes her so good is honestly that awakened ability to where when she is phasing, she takes zero damage. That is just so, so strong. And it is easily worth a generic gem. And the best part is Sig 1 is just the sweet spot because that gives her that one ability. But giving her signature stones is also not a bad idea because it also helps her maintain her incinerate and also gives her some pretty nice cheese in some scenarios so yeah kitty pride very good signature ability 1000 percent worth of generic gem in my opinion next up is archangel and archangel has just been getting better as time has progressed which is insane because he is from 2017 he is a very very old gem and he is still just this good so what his awakening does is it decreases the opponent's ability accuracy for each narrow toxin on them and that is just insane that makes him good for so many matchups so many lanes he just takes pretty much anything that bleeds and poisons with that one signature ability it is just so so strong and yeah overall just a very good ability if you have archangel right now and he is unawakened give him a generic gem it will just change him completely like undupe he's still a very solid damage dealer but when he is awakened he just becomes the king of utility as well so yeah archangel worth a generic 100 percent. and last but not least we have omega red and this one here is very very interesting because omega red doesn't just need high sig he also needs the recoil masteries and without either of those he is just not worth investing into, right? But however, if you have the Recall Masteries, this man is without a doubt worth a generic gem. 100%. Because with his Awakened ability, he just becomes one of the most monstrous DPSs in the game. In like the short fights especially, he is just a powerhouse and a half, right? But the thing is, he is a very investment heavy character. So if you don't have the Recall Masteries, like let's say you are just progressing still right and you don't have like the the big masteries yet then i just wouldn't give a gem to omega red just yet i would give it to like archangel kitty pride and i wouldn't i would just wait until omega red is like ready to be fully invested into right but yeah omega red if you have everything right to go it's just 100 percent worth a generic gem just keep in mind the investment needed for him overall and yeah these three champions i feel like are the most generic worthy in the meeting class um like i said this class is very hard when it comes to awakening because most of these champions just do not need it right but yeah these are champions generic worthy for sure now let's see the class worthy characters so first up is the mighty colossus and colossus is a phenomenal character still just a very solid quester has some use in like you know meta content as well but mainly just a very strong questing champion and when he's awakened he can help get like more permanent armor ups like pretty fast as well and whenever he is immune to something he just gets a very nice amount of armor ups too so very good ability to invest into doesn't the higher sig though for sure and um next up is danny moonstar and danny moonstar is just 
very very new but i feel like her awakened ability is just pretty dang strong because it makes her a very strong nick fury counter and that is pretty rare in this game for sure and not only that it makes her a great purified counter as well and also gives her this very cool ability where she has this marked passive right and this marked passive counters things like immortality counters regeneration as a whole counters indestructible it counters a lot of different things which is just pretty dang sweet and next up and i feel like this one is gonna be a sleeper pick but iceman is 100 percent worth a class gem i was debating generic at first but no i think he is just worth a class gem but he is a powerhouse and a half now when he is awakened he becomes a defensive and attack powerhouse man the cold snap can just wipe out a ton of health if he's placed on defense and the opponent doesn't have a cold snap counter and on attack his frost bites become like a 100 percent chance to trigger whenever he's max sig so he is a great high sig investment and just a crazy good champion as well now like his kit has not been modified it's only been improved which is perfect and he now has just more practicality he has a lot more damage output and when he's awakened he just gets a massive benefit on both the attack and defense spectrum so a great signature ability and he is without a doubt class worthy at the minimum and last but not least we have one of my personal favorite champions which is namor and namor's signature ability is timeless it will always be good honestly i can see arguments for why this is generic worthy because his signature ability is just so good, and no one else does what he does in the game. No one else reflects damage output and takes zero damage from that damage output that you're reflecting, right? Like, no one else does that. It is just him. He only does it. His signature ability is just invaluable. It is just still so dang useful. So if you have a Namor, give him a gem. I think he is worth a gem. He does want Max Sig, though, so if you have other characters to focus on, then understandable i feel like namor while he is a very timeless character his signature ability isn't the most like utilized like for the most part it is pretty situational so keep that in mind but namor as a whole is just a fantastic champion still and still like very worthy of investing into i feel like and yeah these four champions i feel like are the most worthy of a class gem and now let's go over like the other candidates for a class gem. So first up is Toad, and Toad might be like worthy of a top five mention for a class gem because yeah, his signature ability is just really, really strong. It gives him a massive damage output increase. It gives him some very, very solid defensive value as well. It is a very good two way. So what it does is it gives you extra prowess, right? And on attack, that is amazing. But on defense, these prowess can help stun the opponent. And this stun is just brutal to you right so yeah it is a very very solid ability both on attack and defense and honestly he might just be class worthy as a whole just like in the top five contenders for a class worthy gem i mean for a class gem sorry but yeah fantastic character and next up is strife and strife is just a questing machine but to be a questing machine in like the shorter quest he does want to be awakened in high sig because that lets him carry over his charges and it is a very good ability to have on defense as well because whenever he glances, he has a chance to trigger his invisibility field. So it's pretty nice to have there as well. So a great two-way ability also, but Strife isn't the best Battlegrounds character out there. So I feel like he isn't the best investment for like some meta use, right? But for questing, still a very solid character. Next up is Havoc and Havoc's ability is very, very good for both attack and defense because it gives him extra plasma and plasma is great for building prowess and on defense it is great for building the plasma feedback and the plasma debuffs right so it is just a very very strong ability and if he is awakened and high sig especially he can be a very annoying defender still in like the right matchups right and next up is magneto house of x and this guy is a very sweet attacker um, a bit underrated for sure, but when awakened, it's just so, so good. So what it does is it gives him an extra persistent charge whenever he wins a fight, which is very good for his pre-fight ability, which is honestly his best use. And um, on attack, it gives him a lot of extra debuff duration and potency, which is very, very nice. It is just a very nice boost to his damage output and a boost to his support as well, which is, you know, his two best things. And next up is Professor X, and Professor X is a very interesting champion. Um, 
He's great, but I think with Battlegrounds, he's losing a bit of value over time. However, he is still a very nice champion, and Awakened, he is very, very sweet as well, because you gain charges passively, which is perfect for his very good utility, right? And additionally, you get extra prowess potency as well, and his prowess is his damage output, so it is a very nice damage bump too. So overall, a very nice ability, not needed in the slightest, but it still is a nice thing to invest into if you want. Next up is Sunspot, and Sunspot has a pretty good signature ability. It basically just gives him more uh, flare state charges, or no, not flare state charges, sorry, solar charges. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, it gives him up to 40, which is a pretty nice bump. But the thing is, with Sunspot, he bursts down fights so fast to where the extra charges barely even matter. So it really doesn't affect him all too much, but it still is nice to have if you just want that extra safety net with his charges. But like I said, not the most worthy of a class ship in my opinion, but still a pretty nice ability to have, I guess. And last but not least is Storm Original. And Storm is fantastic. She is a great DPS, and when she's awakened, she gets some extra prowess like on her special attacks, which is pretty great. It builds her up like more easily, and it gives her shock a nice bump as well, and this is most noticeable when she is a horseman. So overall, a very nice ability to have, just not necessary in the slightest, right? And yeah, these champions I feel like are somewhat class gem worthy, but there are better contenders out there in my opinion. And let's move on to the defense powerhouses. So first up is Domino, and Domino is a fantastic character, and when she is awakened, she is one of the worst defenders in the game. It is so annoying to fight her without like a Nimrod or Lady Deathstrike, because she just has so much damage coming towards you, and at high sig especially, it is just terrible, man. Uh, she is a 7 star, but even the 7 star pales in comparison to a max sig 6 star, because yeah, that critical failure damage is just very, very strong. And with Bishop here, when he is high sig, or like just even middle sig, his special attacks become unblockable, and if you can't dex those, it is game over. You will not survive a Bishop SP2 to the face. Uh, so yeah, both of these guys have just crazy good defensive abilities when they are like sigged up properly and just, you know, awakened. Uh, they both are seven stars. Bishop, I feel like, is the one who can survive the best without the awakened ability on defense. But when they are awakened, they are just defensive powerhouses, right? So yeah, Bishop, Domino, great defenders and great investments for sure. Now we have the fun investments, and there are a lot of fun investments for the mutant class. There is Jubilee who gets some nice damage whenever she purifies, or whenever the opponent purifies, sorry. She also gets a nice damage benefit when there are debuffs expiring off of the opponent. Uh, there is Nightcrawler who gets very nice fury buffs, and he is just insanely fun to play as well. I really like Nightcrawler a ton, but I know that he just isn't the best champion out there. Um, Old Man Logan gets a very nice help to his uh, practicality when he's awakened, with like the extra bleed passives and just the duration increase on them as well. Rogue gets some critical power steal and life steal, which is very, very good as well. Uh, Psylocke gets defensive blade accuracy reduction and also gets some pretty nice damage increase as well. Now, Sauron, when he's awakened, gets a pretty cool ability that is very niche. And it lets him cheat some bleed lanes, but besides that, it's just a very nice prowess potency increase as well. But Sauron is, you know, he's Sauron, so he's not really too worth a class gem in my opinion. Next up is Emma Frost, who is a pretty sweet character. When awakened, she gets access to some reverse controls and also a good fail safe with her diamond form. Uh, besides this though, not the best ability out there, but still a very fun champion overall. Next up is Captain Britain, who gets a very nice bulwark passive whenever the opponent purifies something, so she becomes pretty dang tanky to play with. And Captain Britain is a lot of fun, but her signature ability just isn't really necessary for her maximum potential, if you like. Next up is Gambit, who gets a pretty nice increase to his damage output because he gets increased critical damage rating, and also gets some nice extra bonuses to his flak jacket. And it's pretty nice to have, but Gambit is perfectly fine unawakened, so honestly, not really class worthy, but still a pretty fun champion to play. Next up, we have Red Deadpool, and Red Deadpool is pretty rare, so keep that in mind. But if you have him, 
may as well gem him because he does get a pretty massive regeneration. The problem is he is just a massive noodle, so at least he'll be like fully healthy, but the fight will just be a very long fight to do, right? But yeah, overall, very cool character, and if you have him, congratulations. Uh, last but not least is Wolverine, and Wolverine I was considering putting in the tier below, like before this, like the not top priority of the class gem, but still class gem worthy because he is very fun, and he's also pretty dang good as a horseman, and when he's a horseman, if he's awakened, he becomes one of the best mutant questers in the game flat out. He is just so strong on both attack and sustainability, just a super good champion on that aspect. And yeah, Wolverine, a great investment if you want to have some fun, because as a horseman, he is just a powerhouse and a half. Now we have these very strong champions with just very, very meh signature abilities. First up is Apocalypse, who does so much right he just does so much for this game he is such a strong champion but his signature ability is just pretty like eh it's just okay um it gives him a nice region it's not necessary at all like you won't notice it in most game modes because you will be playing apocalypse for like the whole path pretty much and like in battlegrounds it does literally nothing it is just very very like mediocre now we have Storm X who is a 7 star champion and 7 star Storm is great because unawakened she is just like the exact same to be honest. At like low health when she's awakened she does get like double the prowess which is pretty sweet but besides that you just aren't missing out on too much and she is fine unawakened like completely fine unawakened. Uh, I just wouldn't give her a gem at all. I feel like she is just perfectly fine unduped. Next up is Magneto Red, and Magneto Red is pretty dang good, obviously, one of the best mutants in the game. His signature ability is very fun. It is a very fun time just spamming heavy attack and just seeing the red numbers do their damage. But in the wider aspect of things, he really doesn't need it, and it does practically nothing for him. He does get a nice, like, safety net for his, uh, like, health because he does get, like, this... I think it's a damage cap, which is pretty cool, but that's mainly for defense, and besides those two things, he doesn't really get too much as a whole, but still a great champion, still a very fun signature ability, so like if you get him awakened manually, like naturally I mean, still a very fun time, trust me. And last but not least, we have the just don't bother tier. Um, there are some exceptions here maybe for like Beast and Mr. Sinister for like a fun investment type of champion. However, I just I just wouldn't. <laughs> I really just wouldn't. They are very fun to play. Uh, I might take mine up just for fun, but I just it's because I have too many mutants to rank, right? I just wouldn't really suggest it. If you're like progressing, just skip all these champions. They're just not worth it, like to awaken. Cable though, very good to like have with Apocalypse, but to awaken, no, none of these guys are worth it, trust me. And yeah, the list is complete. Um, let me know your thoughts on this list. I feel like this is the hardest one to make because the mutant class is really weird when it comes to like awakenings and all that. But who would you awaken? Who would you prioritize for a gem? And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.